it's here, it's arrived. Thanks very much, Philip Rouse of Profi CNC in Australia, the man behind the Pixhawk 2 Cube. What a great bit of kit. This one's white, it's an alpha, and this is a very quick unboxing and look at the Pixhawk 2 Cube. But hang on, we don't do unboxing. Let's just look at the thing. Here it is, Pixel 2 The Cube, or Spider as some of us know, but that's a bit of an in-joke. It's two units this time, a carrier board, that's got all your connectors to the outside world, and then the brain and all the sensors are in here. That gets put on top, and then it gets screwed down, there's four screw holes under there. This is white, this is an alpha unit, so this is one of the first ones around, so we're very lucky to get in on the alpha testing of this, and I'm certainly going to give them a hard time testing it, because I'm not the world's best dual power, dual GPS and lots of other things. It's actually 29 sensors in that box, so let's read them off. Um, there's three three-axis accelerometers, three three-axis gyros and three three-axis magnetometers and also two barometers. And it's 100% RTK GPS ready and as I say I'm particularly keen to try the dual GPS option on this so that when one of these bigger mapping aircraft is downrange, maybe it has a GPS, GPS issue with one GPS, it can switch on to another. Now, one thing this absolutely has, which I remember the Pixhawk one and the DF13 connectors there, they were horrible. These connectors are a thing of beauty. Connector off, let's do that a bit closer. Connector off, connector on, connector off, connector on. Now, those of you, lots of people are wondering why I'm making a fuss of that. That's a big deal. It's a big problem with the uh, with the Pixhawk one. So a fantastic bit of kit. I'm looking forward to flying it. Probably put it in a multi-rotor first and then pop in an aircraft afterwards uh, once I've got, got used to it and happy with it. So once again, thanks chaps. Here we go.